Who wants apple pie? Hi, I'm Christine Cushing and welcome to today's episode of My Favorite Foods. Today I'm taking you back to my pastry chef days with a super crispy free form apple pie. This is one of my all time favorites, but it's also super special to me. I've got a radically different technique on blending the pastry. So you get a super crispy texture that's so delicious, you're gonna love it. Are we ready? Let's go. Pastry first. In my bowl here, I'm starting with two different kinds of flour, one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour and about a third of a cup of pastry flour. That pastry flour actually gives it that tenderness that you want. So I'm adding a little bit of salt just to balance the flavor. Always put ice cubes in your water. So that makes the water super, super cold and then you can, you can kind of ditch the ice cubes and then you have cold water. Let me run to my freezer. That's where my butter is three quarters cup of butter. So it's roughly 185 grams if you're weighing it, which is the best way to do it. I take a small knife and what I'm doing here is just thinly slicing it. And then until I'm ready to use it, I actually keep it in the freezer. So remember I said it was radically different. Watch me here. So I just want to stir together the salt and the flours. And then I add the butter super cold. Always, by the way, unsalted butter. You can control the amount of salt that way and it's fresher. So I just want to coat that butter with a flour. All right, step number two. This is where the radically different part comes. At this point, I haven't added any water yet. So what I want to do is take my French rolling pin. It's easier to control because there's no ball bearings and I'm going to just put a little bit of muscle into it and it'll be perfect. So rolling the butter so that it's a little bit even more flat. And essentially I'm making a cross between a rough puff pastry and a pie dough. That's the radical difference. So what I like to use is this metal pastry scraper. So I'm not touching the dough or the flour and the butter with my hands at all. Then I just gather everything, I kind of fold it into the center and I keep going like this until the butter is super thin and it looks like almost paper thin spread throughout the flour. This could take a good five minutes, so you want to be patient. Once there's no big clumps of butter left, that's basically what you're looking for. I'm going to take it back to the bowl and then I'm going to add the ice water before it's fully blended. Now I go back to either a rubber spatula or a fork and I've got a half a cup of ice water here. You want to be careful because yes, there's a recipe. The recipe says a half a cup of water, but you really don't know how humid is your room, how much moisture is in the butter, so many variables. So you want to actually look for what it is, the texture that you want sprinkling with the water and just tossing gently but quickly, making sure that it's all spread evenly. Haven't touched it yet with my hands. Going back to the French rolling pin, same technique. So this scraper allows me to really lift everything up and not use my hands because guess what? My hands are too hot for the dough, the butter's gonna melt out. The other part of making an apple pie is patience. You do have to always rest and chill the dough after you make it. So one more little round just to make sure it's flat. Okay, now I'm gonna use my hands just to gather it, but gently. And then I wanna cut this into two. You can already start to see those layers. And that's the whole point. That layering and that rolling with my rolling pin is really creating that almost a faux puff pastry look. That's the radical difference. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now flattening it into a disc. Okay, give it a good little slap. Wrapping 
and we're going to the fridge. Chilling 35 to 45 minutes. Now we make the filling. Dough's chilling. Now for the filling. Apples. Everybody's got their own version. What apple do they like? Whatever firm cooking apples you have, that's the one that you use. To me, the worst thing you can do in an apple pie is use, to use a soft, soggy apple. I cut them in half, and then I also like to cut them into fairly thin slices so that the apple softens while the pastry cooks. So apples are cut. Next thing I do is, that I would say is radically different. I'm using some just organic sugar, but not a lot. It's probably a third of a cup, so about 80 grams of sugar. The apple is sweet enough. I don't like it too sweet. Just one tablespoon of cornstarch. The juice of half a lemon. Gotta have some cinnamon. I just wanna toss this, making sure all the apples are coated. All you need is that one tablespoon of cornstarch that's gonna soak up the juices of the apple. I gotta get my pastry from the fridge, about 40 minutes or so, chilling. Super crispy apple pie. That's what you're gonna get. Bench flour. By putting it into a disc like I did with this, you see how it's super easy to actually roll the dough. And I just use my French pin and I'm applying pressure just on one side and I keep moving the pastry. That's how you get a perfect round. You want it fairly thin. Look how the pastry's holding together. Is that great or what? That's the thickness that you're looking for. Now I'm going to put it on my rolling pin and get it onto the eventual baking sheet. Parchment is your best friend. This is another great tip for when you're baking pastry. This is just a beaten egg and I brush the bottom of the pastry with that before I add my apples all the way around. That's going to seal the dough and prevent the juices from running down the bottom. So same thing for the top. So the key here is for a perfect crust, you want it to be about, what is that? Two millimeters, three millimeters, that's about an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch. If the dough is too thick, it's gonna be just a little bit too heavy. So here is the bottom crust that was brushed with that beautiful egg wash. Here are gonna come the apples right your way. Now you see how there's a lot of juice in the bottom of that bowl? Sometimes that is gonna make your dough soggy. So I wanna make sure I toss it a bit. And maybe not put all of that juice in there. Just a little bit of it, but not too much, like that. Just make sure that it's mounted high, but that the apples are pressed. Now, we're gonna top this. Again, just brushing on top with the egg wash. This is gonna be gluing it down. And I actually roll this almost like a calzone. So here's what you want to do. I just pick up one layer and I'm going to use my thumb and then my other finger. So I'm twisting. See how I press that down? Twist it and go all the way around. Making sure I fasten it 
so the juices don't run out. One thing that's really important, I like to make a little slit in the top. And then I just make a couple of, like maybe three holes on the side so the steam escapes. Now I'm going to brush the whole thing with more egg wash. Last thing I do to give it a nice crispy top, a little bit of sugar on top. On my baking sheet for just if you want to even make it more special, uh, if you want to create a little decorative pattern, I use the back of a sharp knife and I'm just going to create some little patterns and that's just going to look really beautiful when it's baking. What do we think? That's ready for the oven. 375 Fahrenheit convection setting or fan. That's almost about 180 centigrade. Bottom third of your oven. 45 minutes later, let's check the pie. My nose tells me it's ready. Oh, oh yes. Mmm, does that smell good. In the category of things of beauty, this ranks top of the list. The smell is unbelievable. I promise you, the good news is you are going to be asked over and over again to make this pie for people. It is that good. I really want to dig into this, but I've got to let it sit for an hour. So you got to trust me on how good it is. Thanks for joining me on My Favorite Foods. I'm Christine Cushing. Please remember to subscribe. Give me your thoughts, your comments. I really want to hear from you. Make some coffee, make some tea. Let's eat some pie. Mmm.